So this method to make kefir is a little bit different. I use a jar like this, which is actually, actually very convenient. And you can use a lid for storage. Um, and basically you can drink right from this jar, which is very, very awesome. You would need to have couple uh, for the system like that so that you can make kefir in one and drink from another one. So right here, I actually have fresh kefir, which I set up yesterday. So today it's kind of, it's ready. This is a prototype system, um, which you can actually um, get for me as well. I have very limited supply, but um, it's a prototype. So none of the systems actually available commercially are perfect for kefir because kefir is pretty thick drink. So you see, it's not possible to strain it like that. So we need to strain the grains. So I usually use the plate and then I tap like this to get rid of kefir. And because it's kind of netted, you see, um, the kefir grains uh, stay inside. You, you can see a little bit, right, the grains. So I want to get rid of kefir as much as possible. So you can see it kind of, when you strain it, it, it's not as thick anymore. You kind of, you break down um, the polysaccharide networks, which is kind of not good as well, but that's the only way really to make kefir, unfortunately, you have to break them down. They kind of can build back a little bit again when you store kefir in the refrigerator, um, but not as much. You see, it's also kind of thick, you can see the, polysaccharides. This is strained. We can add fresh milk right in this jar, right from the refrigerator. I just take a pack of milk. Um, the volume of this glass jar is about 350 milliliters. I imagine it's about 12 ounces. And uh, you just place this device <laughs> Inside, you kind of can mix a little bit. You don't have to, you'll, you'll get your kefir anyway, but I like mixing it. That way um, we can get kefir ready a little bit sooner than later. And this is ready. This can go at the room temperature on the countertop for about 24 hours. Um, also, by the way, you see there are like little dots. They're also handmade because it's a prototype. Um, they're tiny, but I feel like they're still big enough. They're definitely big enough for bacteria to get in and for different spores to get in. So I still like uh, to add a, like a little filter, coffee filter uh, on top. And that's how I live it, protect it. Now this is ready to consume kefir. Because I already mixed it, you see it has it's not as thick anymore. Actually, because there are a bunch of bacteria already in here, bacteria and yeast, you can actually leave it at the countertop for an hour or two if you want it thicker. For example, uh, you can also add some berries in here or some chia seeds or um, any kind of fruit. You can close it and leave it for a few hours. That will be your second fermentation and the kefir can infuse with different um, flavors of fruit and berries if you choose to do so. If not, you can just place it in the refrigerator and it can be stored for up to a week for sure. Um, but because we generate a jar of kefir every day, you can make as much as you need every day so that it doesn't stay in the refrigerator. Okay, so now you know how to make a real kefir. I hope this was helpful.